Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to draw a soccer ball. In most places in the world they call it a football, but it is the same thing, so let's just get started here with a big circle in the middle of the page. Just try to make it as round as you can, and then let's connect it up. There we go. Okay, now a soccer ball is made up of patches that are sewn together, so the first patch is going to be a pentagon shape, and a pentagon is five sides. So let's try to draw that as best we can here in the middle. Try to make the sides as equal as you can. That'll work. Okay, now from here, we're going to draw some lines out towards the edge from each one of the corners. And let's stop about halfway out to the edge. Okay. Now from each one of these lines, we're going to split the line into two other lines. So here you'll see sort of in a Y shape where we draw the line close to the edge, but not quite touching the edge of that circle. Now you should already start seeing that soccer ball pattern coming to life here. Let's do one more. Okay. Now from each of those lines, we're going to draw a line in the other direction and actually connect it up to the edge of the circle there. And now you'll start to see that we're creating more pentagon shapes, a little bit flatter than the one in the middle, but still five sides. There we go. And the last one here. And there we go. So a pentagon in the middle and then five pentagons around the sides. Now we're going to draw some lines in between those pentagons, and these can be some curved lines. And now what you'll see is that we're creating hexagon shapes, and that is a six-sided shape. So it goes back and forth between pentagons and hexagons. Now I'm just going to fill that in here. So I'm just going to use my black marker, but you can use whatever colors you think look nice, and maybe even have a ball at home, and you want to try to copy what's on that ball. Sounds a good idea. Just trying to fill this in here. Okay, now we'll do the ones on the side. Okay, that's the first one. This will really help the ball pop out of the page. Trying to stay in the lines here, but it doesn't really matter. Just need to get it close. Okay, two more. So if I'm going a little fast here, you can use this time to pause the video and color this all in and start it back up afterwards. There we go. Okay, so there's the ball. Now let's make the ball a little bit more fun. We'll add some action lines, like the ball is flying out of the page at us. And that's just going to be some curved lines here on the side and top of the ball. And then maybe a few more in the middle here. And that's it, a soccer ball. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.